what's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and it's time for our Week 6 Top 25 poll of college football as we head into Week 6 of the season. Week 5 was pretty boring, honestly. There wasn't a whole lot of great games. The USC-Washington State game, that was a good one, uh, but not, not a whole lot really going on. And now we can really start evaluating these teams and looking at their resume as every team now has several games played this season. Here's the bottom of the Top 25. I got Utah. State at number 21. They didn't play this weekend. San Diego State, uh, somebody said something to me last week about Florida State and LSU not deserving to be in the top 25. And I said if I had to do it over again, I would have probably put San Diego State in there last week. Uh, they win again, so they're number 22. Uh, UCF in there at number 23. That's making their debut in the top 25. USC at number 24. A big drop for them after a tough loss against Washington State. They just haven't looked right this year. And Georgia Tech, they, they debut in the top 25 at that number 25 spot after another big win. All right, how about 16 through 20? <laughs> Look at that, 16 through 19 had absolutely no change on those teams. Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, Florida, and NC State all won, uh, but they didn't really beat anybody great. Uh, that Oklahoma State win was pretty impressive against Texas Tech on the road. South Florida moves up. A few spots up to number 20. You know, I was a little hesitant on them, but they continue to, to blow teams out. So I'm starting to believe in this South Florida team, which preseason seemed like, you know, the for sure team out of the group of five that you could, you know, say could possibly challenge, you know, to get into a New Year's Six Bowl. All right, so <clears throat> no changes there. How about 11 through 15? I actually dropped Wisconsin. Another slow start against Northwestern. Northwestern hasn't looked like a good team this year. Uh, and Wisconsin's got to get that fixed because if they start out slow against you know a really good team, they're not going to be able to come back and win. Uh, so I've dropped them a little bit. Miami up to number 12, impressive win over Duke. Washington State at 13, and a nice win over USC, who's really not looking that great right now, but still. Virginia Tech only drops two spots. They put up a decent effort against Clemson. Louisville at 15. You have to say Virginia Tech probably put up a better fight than Louisville. That's why I'm putting them just a bit... Uh, one spot ahead of Louisville. Both those teams, though, I think are still really good. All right, 6 through 10, I've got TCU at number 6. They didn't play. Washington, another blowout win for them. Ohio State, I told I told you I thought that they were going to get things going this week. This will be the start of a, a big run for them. Auburn, that loss against Clemson really doesn't look all that bad now. I've got them up to number 9. Uh, you know, and They've got wins now over a couple of SEC teams. Michigan at number 10. Uh, they didn't play this weekend. If they beat Michigan State, and depending on how they look, uh, they'll probably move ahead of Ohio State and Auburn, uh, being undefeated and all that. Uh, but they still, you know, they don't have a huge win on their resume right now, and they haven't played anybody too tough. But Michigan, yeah, look for them to move up, assuming they win that game against Michigan State. All right, I still got Clemson at number one. Look, they've got three wins over top 15 teams. Alabama doesn't have a top 25 win. Uh, Florida State, you know, was supposed to be really good, but look at how they've turned out. Uh, which the injury to Francois, a big part of that. So really no change here in the top five at all for me. Uh, Georgia was impressive again. Oklahoma didn't play. Penn State, very impressive against Indiana. I thought that game might be a tricky one for them. Uh, but, yeah, right now Alabama's look like the more dominant team, but they just don't have the resume that Clemson has. Um, and, really, they don't have much on the schedule until the end of the year at Auburn. So we'll, we'll probably be keeping Clemson at that number one spot as long as they keep winning. <clears throat> All right, here's the teams that dropped out, uh, Florida State and LSU. Even though Florida State won, I really felt, felt like they didn't deserve to be in last year after I looked back on my poll. So, yeah, they drop out. LSU loses to Troy. Wow, it is going downhill fast. And, you know, I, I've been saying it. I didn't think Ed Orgeron was the right guy. Uh, he doesn't have a good track record as a head coach. And it's proving itself again here at LSU. Duke, maybe I was a little too high on them too quick. They just didn't look on the, anywhere near the same level as Miami. Uh, so they drop out as well. And the teams that I'm considering for the top 25, we had a pretty big list last week. I've only got four teams this time. Michigan State, uh, impressive win over Iowa. They got the big one against Michigan. Stanford even with two losses. West Virginia, I was really back and forth between West Virginia and Georgia Tech for that number 25 spot. Um... I think, you know, Georgia Tech's played some conference games. West Virginia hasn't really played anybody outside of Virginia Tech. And then Texas Tech, even though they lost to Oklahoma State, they still look like a really good team. I, I was impressed with them. Uh, so these teams didn't quite make it in. Uh, but there you go. That's my top 25 heading into week six of the season. 
The AP and Coaches poll will be out later today, so we'll see how my poll compares to theirs. Go ahead and leave a comment down below with what all you disagree with, or if you like everything in my poll, let me know uh, what you think about it. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.